So we all know our thyroid regulates our metabolism. So how does this process actually occur and what foods aid in this process? First of all, our thyroid needs to make certain hormones. This requires certain nutrients which include our iodine and tyrosine. With iodine, we can get that from iodine salts, we can get that from seaweed. Um, pyrazine is an amino acid um, and can be got from animal products like meat, um, chicken, eggs and so on and so forth. Our body has so many different types of um, thyroid hormones, inactive and active. So we have our inactive thyroid, which is T4, which needs to be activated, okay, into T3. So in order for this to occur, our body requires certain nutrients, which would be our selenium, um, our iron, our zinc, and all of these can be got from, you know, leafy greens. We can get that from um, nuts, seeds, um, and even our red meat as well too. Our body makes um, so many different types of um, thyroid hormones, inactive and active. So we've got uh, some of inactive uh, hormones, T4, it needs to be activated into something called T3. And once this T3 is activated, this can actually enter the cell and basically tell our cell, look, you can actually utilize our free energy and turn that into ATP, something that our bodies can actually use. Okay? And in order for this to happen, our body needs omega-3 fatty acids, and which can be got from our nuts and seeds, uh, uh, some of our fish like Atlantic salmon, um, tuna, sardines, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna take you guys through a video to show you how this all occurs. All right, so let's break this down here, right? So every cell in our body has this little hoi meat, other scientific way of the else, called mitochondria, and we're just gonna call it mito, okay? So the job of mito over here is to convert our free energy, okay, into something usable by our body called ATP, okay? Now, Mito cannot do his job unless it's told to do so. And that's where T3 comes in. So, T3 comes into the cell, attaches himself to Mito, and says, Mito, get your job done, okay? And then that happens. So, you can see without T3, um, our conversion of free energy can't happen, and we can't get our ATP for usable energy. So, we used to pump our weights, uh, do every single activity. 